I'd know that voice anywhere. Uh, it's really you! Humorous! I thought my eyes deceived me. It's been so long. A friend of yours? In days past, yes. We were inseparable as children. And you must be Prince Elaine, I presume? You know of him? Everyone has heard stories of the Liberation Army. I take it you stand with them as well, Scarlet? Proud rebel at your service. And I see you've become a knight, just as you always dreamed. It was the only thing I could think about as a child. Those were simpler times. Happier ones. We would play in the garden until the sun went down. Our only company, the resident insects. Right, the garden. I was just talking about it. Is it still there? Indeed, and it's recently welcomed the most beautiful bloom you'll ever see. We could go back if you'd like. Relive our youth for just a moment. That would be wonderful. I'd love to show you too, Elaine. Let's all go together. Just as beautiful as I remember it. And such an incredible smell, too. It's stunning, yes. We never had blossoms like these back on Palavia. We used to sit right here, braiding little crowns and necklaces out of different colored flowers. Do you remember, Humorous? You'd press and dry them for us, then... Don't move! Explain yourself. I won't ask twice. Relinquish Scarlet to me, or else. Humorous. Come. It's not safe here. Returned empty-handed, have you? It would seem your heart's just not in this little agreement of ours. A shame. But it is what it is. Consider my promise revoked. Wait, I beg you! It's just as we thought. Scarlet stands with the rebel forces. But if we surround their limited ranks with both our armies, we should have little trouble in reclaiming her. You presume to ask us to partake as well? Please, my lord. This final chance is all I request. <laughs> as you wish. The girl will be ours one way or another. We can settle our agreement once she is. Just know you'll get no further kindness if you fail us now. She won't elude our grasp again. With me, men. We make for our post at once. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you asked to meet me here? I could raise my sword at any moment, you know. I am aware. But I understand why you did it. And I know you have no reason to attack me. Not anymore. 
It doesn't matter. I'll never deserve your trust again. Tell me, Humorous. Do you remember this? I can't believe you're still holding on to that. Why wouldn't I be? These flowers you pressed bring me straight back to the day I left Albion. You gave them to me as a symbol of our friendship. And asked me never to forget about you. It was all I could do to get you to stop crying. Yes. And it didn't work. Your shoulder was practically drenched with tears. And a bit of snot as well. That was a long time ago. Even still, whenever I felt lonely, I'd look at these flowers, and it was like you were right there next to me. I have been blessed with a great many companions since that day, but I have never once considered getting rid of them. No matter how far apart we may be, you'll always be a dear friend, Humorous. Scarlet, I... <sighs> Come with us. Please. How can you say that after what I've done, I tried to betray you, to hand you off to Zenaira? Perhaps, but that's all in the past now. So come. We've shed enough tears in this garden to last us a lifetime.
Why have you summoned me here? Sorry, I think there's been a mistake. I would have to agree. Please don't let it happen again. Why? Why have you summoned me here? I'd like you to have the Ring of the Maiden. I... don't deserve such an honor. Or did you forget what I've done? How I turned my blade against you? I remember. But I've also observed you in the days since. Seen how tirelessly you've worked to atone for your past transgressions. And I would say you've more than done so. Such single-minded resolve speaks to the profound purity of your heart. In any case, it's not as though you betrayed us out of malice or greed. So please, Humorous, let this bitter dance of self-reproach end here and now. From the moment you accept this ring, your sins will be no more. You shall stand among us as an equal. You're kind, Elaine. Far too kind. But I do like that about you. I accept your offer. I promise to never leave your side from this day forward. Neither in battle, nor in life. And I the same. Never again will you be forced to suffer alone, Humorous. Not while I still live and breathe. Thank you, Elaine. My heart is forever yours. End this. Now. Majesty, but how? Mother! No! I won't lose you again! <laughs> oh, but you shall. How does it feel? Mm. Your dear mother, slain by your own hand! What's happening to me? Is even Elenius. The might of the unicorn runs deep in his veins. Say what you will. We'll never submit. <laughs> Strike at this new body of mine if you dare. You'd simply be volunteering your own as my next vessel. The ring is mine to command. And a futile demise is all that awaits you now. No. Why must it end this way? <laughs> Finally realized, have you? None can ever hope to halt my designs. Now bow to your... <laughs> This day is won by my hand, and the grandest of rights shall soon be upon us. Worry not. You'll make a fine Zenoiran vessel once it is. Where are you, Elaine? Enough. Can't you see it's over? <laughs> the ring. But... Why does it hold such vast energy? It's 
you. You're still fighting, struggling to break free against all odds. Well, I refuse to let you fight alone, just like we promised. I'm right here, Lane, and I'll never leave your side. Hilarious. You saw in Fevreth's innocent people mere vessels to house your own fallen empire. But as long as I live and breathe, you'll never inflict such callous devastation on our world. How do you know of that? Piteous ghost of an age long past, I shall grant your soul the freedom it desires. You will not! I don't understand. How is he not beaten? My brethren were robbed of their corporeal flesh, left to wander in the void of nothingness for 800 years. Their pain is my strength, and my body, their fury given form, while the souls of Zenoira remain trapped in the beyond. Their emperor shall never know defeat! Your Majesty, Baltro! How goes the right? Flawlessly. We lack but a single soul to complete the spell. Then these insects shall be more than enough. Grant me your strength, and we'll stamp them out together. A charming boast, but I promise you'll find it no easy feat. What do you think you're doing? Apologies if I wasn't clear, Your Majesty. The last soul the Sigil seeks is none other than yours. Traitorous fool. Finally gone senile. Hmm. Is that you, Mother? Your Majesty. But how? Mother! It's okay, Elaine. She's unharmed. Speak to me, please. I never imagined he possessed such frightful mastery over the bodies of others. Elaine, I can't say how much time has passed since that day, but you've grown so much. If only I could have been there to witness it. It seems I owe Joseph a great deal for raising you in my absence. And the gate to the beyond stands open and true! <laughs> Rise, prisoners of the Unicorn's Curse! Spectral phantoms from an ancient time! You shall be the first to perish by my newfound strength! Joseph, see my mother somewhere safe. And you, your highness? We end this long-drawn war, here and now. All the 
suffering he's caused our lands will finally be repaid. Come home, both of you. What primitive evil should I reanimate next, I wonder? A monster capable of crushing Fevrith beneath its heel, perhaps? A man this warped will never see reason. Come, let's put him out of his misery. Spirits of Zenoira, hear my call. Your Emperor is no more, and in his place, a tyrannical fiend who craves nothing but absolute control. Tell me, is this what you truly desire? To sacrifice your very essence in service of this demon? Pathetic child. Souls of the Departed, if you have any humanity left within you, lend me your aid! Leaving me! You've ruined everything! A classic fool! These souls are not a power one can wield, Baltro. They are human lives. Human will in its purest form. Impossible! The city's very nature has been recast! How is this happening? It appears we arrived just in time. This isn't how my tale concludes. I won't allow it! The only escape awaiting you, Ultra, is death's golden grace. Wretched disciples! You dare turn on your master! The time has come, Ali. Let us lift the curse of the unicorn and bring the salvation of heaven to these lost souls! My chance to atone has come at last! Thank you, Elaine, and Farrah.